Okay. I'm... You just sort of jumped in there. Uh, sort of glad you did, though. <laughs> Strife brings nothing to be born, but only extends the barren wilderness within our hearts. Let me sing a requiem for you all, one to soothe your parched souls. A gentle yet wistful tune to bathe your brittle spirits and cause the deserts of your heart to bloom. Oh hey, name drop. So I like the song, I like the lyrics. I'm not sure they went well together. <laughs> um, I mean, sound-wise, they did. The context of the lyrics matched well with the sound of the song, but I'm not sure the flow of the lyrics mash matched the flow of any... You know what? I'm not good at music stuff. Ha! <laughs> it looks like you all understood what I was trying to get across. Uh... Sure, let's go with that. What is it most precious above all? That is love and peace. Baby. I love this guy. <laughs> I, I, I think it's about time the search party for the search party to be returning with the reports. That's right, General. I should get back to my duties and, uh, Make sure you don't let these kids in again. Oh, and cancel any further checks on tra the travelers along the Asin Road. Having these kids around any longer will just be an eyesore. I wish we. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Oh, wow. Actually, that sprite was way glitched out. Um, for a second there. I didn't notice until right before it stopped. Ha! <laughs> no matter which country you visit, military men lack romanticism. But you lot, on the other hand, appear to appreciate my aesthetic sense. I definitely do. Um... <laughs> yeah, good idea. We had a bit of trouble, but we did manage to get some information. After we head back to Bose, how about we think about our future plans of attack? I don't leave him behind! Please wait for him! Oh well, we've come to the bar. Let me try and introduce myself again. I'm Ol Oliver Lenheim, a wandering bard and musician by trade. As you already know, I am Erbonian. I am an Erborian, touring your fair liberal bro. Eh. Words. Hard! <laughs> I am Estelle, and... Now wait a minute! Why do we have to introduce ourselves to you? Don't be rude, Estelle. Introduce yourself. I am Joshua. And Sherazard. Things are getting pretty heated. So I'm glad you stepped in before something really bad happened. Let me just say thanks. Ha! <laughs> You've got nothing to thank me for. I only did what any person who loves beauty and peace would have done. However, if you insist, how about going on a date with me for a day? Uh, 
he's flirting with Sherazard now as well. I love this. <laughs> That's too bad. All right then, I guess I'll accept Joshua as a substitute. <laughs> Well, that's odd. I didn't mean it as a joke. Joshua, don't be like that. Just go on a date with him. You know you'll like it. <laughs> and this is what I was waiting for. <laughs> um, I don't know how to put this, but you're lacking a... Hmm. You might want to think about taking a lesson or two from your friends here. Well, ex <laughs> I mean... Just... Yeah, no. I think that's good advice, actually. <laughs> Come down, Estelle. I think you're... Uh... Joshua. 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 That sort of thing is exactly why you have everyone chasing you like this. And now you're picking a fight with Estelle as well. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but there's not a better way to thank you. Er, but we have got to get going. Then how about you take me along with you to the city of Bose? This is my first time in Liberal, after all. And I'd like to request a guide. Well, if, it's all, if that's all you want, then I don't mind. The, it's the least we can do, and we're headed to the same place anyway. Plus, acting as a guide to one of the is one of the bracer's many duties. Oh, all right. I guess we're stuck with him until then. But what if he tries to sink his poisonous fangs of lust into Joshua? I mean, if it's consensual. <laughs> Please don't refer to me like I'm some sort of ferocious beast. I'd rather you call me a hunter of love. Even Love Stealer wouldn't be the ba that bad of a title. <laughs> So, how- oh, whoops. I'm counting on you all to get me there safely. Now let us be off! Sully Joshua's innocence. New character! Let's check him out. Uh, oh, he is the guy with the gun from the opening. Okay. Cool! Uh, he has Howling Bullet and Quick Draw. If I had to guess, quick draw is probably like a quick attack. Don't know about Howling Bullet. Maybe an AoE. Equipment wise. Popular orbital gun made by the Empire's Rainford Company. Um. Let's see, five range, so he hits from fairly far away. Orbit wise, he came with, uh. Hmm. Okay, so. Let's throw that on. No, no, I, I wanted that. And let's throw. Move plus one could be good, but I'm thinking... He has a lot of slots open, actually. Uh... What is AFD? I guess it's magic defense? Let's go with that. Two slots, one slot. Two slots, two slots. Okay! 
I mean, we gotta try them out, right? So... Actually, I just want to... Hmm. Yep, that's true. I mean... Anyway. Okay, so... Oh, of course, it's this. Uh, several rounds in the blink of an eye. Area attack. It did not work. Okay. Yeah, that's that seems pretty good. Uh, Joshua probably cannot reach. Uh... Yeah, just get as close as you can. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should buy another... Uh, water one. Having another person who can heal, I think, would be pretty good. Yeah, I really, really need to heal Joshua. Which I probably should have just done out of battle. TBH. Seems you came up short. Level 13. Hmm. Well, that's in line with Shara. Yeah, let's just, uh, before I forget. <laughs> okay, lots of eggs here. Let's, uh, don't use freaking magic on them. Oh boy, I remember what happened last time. <laughs>
But yeah, like this seems like a good time to get tons of uh, what you call them? Some tons of sepet. And also fill up my CP gauges a bit. Really? You missed twice? Nope, too far away. Huh. <laughs> that is seriously so great. Um... I don't think my gun guy will be able to reach, so... One of three? Joshua should be able to finish that. That's that thing. Let's move out. Yeah, I'm not getting that much experience, but I think I think the Sepeth Keens alone are probably worth it. <laughs> Oh, you know what though? My trail I have noticed my trail of people is even longer, so I'm probably even more vulnerable to back attacks now. <laughs> One hit point left. Well. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Oh, I love that! <laughs> oh, okay, that was a mistake. It wasn't a back attack, though. And there's only one of them. So I'm not gonna be punished for it. Yeah, with four party members, I just can't maneuver around enemies at all. Once they see me, I'm gonna get in a fight. Okay, let's see. I kind of want to go to Roland, because I want to see what happens if I bring my new party member there. As long as I'm looking. Uh, no, that's the wrong book. That one? That one. Reported, reported, in progress, need to report. But yeah, I, I want to see if there's any new dialogue in Roland now that I have a new party member. And I've already decided I'm not going to regularly go back to areas uh, that are not the main area for the chapter. Like, I'll probably do it occasionally. Um, but I did just get a new party member, so this is sort of a special occasion. Plus, there is still that fluffball monster, <laughs> and I bet it will have respawned by now. I, I really want to take another chance to kill it. Oh, I can't go back, can I? Huh. I did not consider this. I have to admit. Well, free healing. But, uh, it seems that I cannot go back to Roland, so, uh... So much- so much for that plan! <laughs> okay. Back to Bose, I suppose. Then where after that? Well, I don't know.
Hmm. I don't remember which of these enemies gave the best. Whoops! Don't want to go here. Gave the best uh, returns. Like, Sepith returns. I don't think I'm going to get good experience from anything. Uh, there was that one bird, I think, that was pretty good. Oh, well. Single snake, probably not great. We're good to go! Well, actually, that wasn't terrible fire. It looks like what I need most is wind. But, you know, some fire does help. It was more time, though, and I have a lot of time right now. I say as I walk into the back of more snakes. Uh, yeah, if I could get... Okay, I'm actually not sure how much I need to in order to upgrade my orb mythic game. For either Estelle or Joshua. It's probably the same number for both of them, actually. Let me just, uh... Uh, no, actually. It is easier to do it for Estelle than Joshua. Uh, and Shara is the same as Joshua. Go up there. And we've made it to Bose again. Hmm, so this is Bose, is it? Uh, it's much more urban than I imagined. Yeah, and I want to kill those palms, but I haven't been. Able Wait, no. I the palms are the fluffy ball things, right? If so, then I really want to hunt those, but I'm having trouble, first of all, finding them, and second of all, actually beating them. <laughs> that building over there is the Bose Market, is it not? Well, you seem quite knowledgeable. Are you sure this is really your first time here? Ha! I was just smart enough to buy a tourist guidebook before I left. One published by your very own Liberal News, no less. I don't know how to say it, but we live in a really convenient age. Yep, and after doing a bit of window shopping, I plan to dress up and dine out. According to the Guild Guide, there's supposed to be a three-star restaurant in town. The Anta Rose, authentic liberal cuisine, or so they say. I guess that's three stars out of three. Because uh, if this is a three stars out of five restaurant, I do not want to see what a five star restaurant looks like. Indeed, no doubt this is the place. I'm quite looking forward to it. But it's supposed to be a pretty uh, costly establishment if you decide to go with a full course meal. I'd have to recommend a normal bar any day over this. Worry not, my fair lady. I've brought sufficient travel expenses. And if that's not enough, I'll earn more with my superb skills. <laughs> Can you actually earn Mira with that crap? Ha! I've starred as the main opera singer at a great theater in the Erbonian capital before. If I remember right, I once earned one million Mira in a single night. All right, everyone. Good work. I guess this is farewell until fate brings us together once more. Uh, do I get back the stuff I gave him? Is everyone with 
Marbonia a weirdo like that? I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't get it back, but hopefully I get it back. <laughs> uh, I don't think I like the idea of that being the Empire stereotype. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I think the majority of the people there are quite serious. I wrote in a book that their ethos respects the strong, silent type. So basically, like yourself, Joshua. Hmm. I mean, to say that he's a weirdo because he's an artist is not the same as saying that all artists are weirdos. Although it might be more accurate to say he's an artist because he's a weirdo. And also, don't be so judgmental calling him a weirdo. He's a perfectly fine citizen. Uh, well, for national. <clears throat> Estelle. It would be best if we let Mayor Mabel know after that, too. So first we visit the guild, then the mayor's residence. Okay, let's get going. 